guys welcome to my youtube channel please like subscribe and comment meshak a form one student wanted to measure exactly 25 centimeters cubed of dilute hydrochloric acid for an experiment name the suitable apparatus that he should use to take the experiment the suitable apparatus is a pipette because it measures exactly 25 centimeters cubic Give one reason why glass apparatus would be preferred when taking the experiment. One is that glass is easy to clean, it does not react with chemicals, and it is also transparent. Question two, you are told that the table below shows solubility of three solids, P, Q, and R, in cold water and also in hot water. P is soluble in cold water, is soluble in hot water. Q is soluble in insoluble in cold water and insoluble in hot water are insoluble in cold water and soluble in hot water describe how you'd obtain pure samples of r p and q so what you do you'll add the cold water mix to the mixture and then you start to dissolve p because p is soluble in cold water then filter to get q and r as residue then you heat the filtrate to evaporate uh, to evaporation to get P. Add hot water to the residue and start to dissolve R. Then you filter to obtain Q as a residue. Heat the uh, the evap heat the the filtrate to evaporate and then you're going to get R. The next question is uh, pH values of some solutions are given below. You have the pH there, uh, pH 14, pH 1, 8, 6.5, and 7. Identify the solution with the lowest concentration of hydrogen ion and give the reason for your answer. That is solution P because it is going to the side of uh, being neutral. Which solution would be used as an antiacid for treating stomach as upset? N would be used because it's a weak base or weakly alkaline and it will neutralize the acid in the stomach, which is hydrochloric acid. What are the natures of solution M and L? M is a strong base, pH 14. L is a strong acid, pH 1 to 3. Which solution is likely to be calcium hydroxide? Calcium hydroxide is a weak base and therefore it's supposed to be n select the solution uh, in which a sample of magnesium oxide is likely to dissolve and give the reason so magnesium oxide is basic and it will dissolve in an acidic solution to form neutral water and the, the salt distinguish between a mixture and a compound a mixture is a group of two or more substances which are physically combined where a compound is a group of two or more elements chemically combined here is another question you're told that in an experiment uh, to separate a mixture of two liquids n and p n and m n boiling point of 56 and liquid M boiling point of 118 degrees celsius a student set up the apparatus as shown what makes it possible to separate? Of course, these two mixtures, they have different boiling points. Though they are, uh, one is 118 and the other one is one is 56. Name X. X is the fractionating column. What is the purpose of the apparatus labeled X? Apparatus labeled X, that is the fractionating column, is to allow the vapors of the liquid whose boiling point has not been reached to condense and flow back into the flask. Identify one mistake in the setup. The mistake is one exchanging the cold water in and water out. They exchanged that. Um, which liquid was corrected in the beaker as the first distillate, the one with the lower melt boiling point of 56. Um, 
what would be the method that the student used to test purity of the distillate so they would determine the boiling point of the distillate give any of the, one of the increasing efficiency of this method to produce pure compound so you increase the length of the fractionating column or you make the fractionating column narrower you can also use more glass beads in the fractionating column the other question uh, you are told you give any industrial application of this method of separation of mixture recycling of oil separating the components of air uh, that is fractional distillation of liquidified air then separation of crude oil a form one student mixes sodium chloride and water give the name of the following the solute is a sodium chloride of course a solid substance that dissolves in a solvent the solvent is water and then the solution is sodium chloride solution a burner produces two types of flame name them they are a luminous flame and a non luminous flame give any two differences between the two flame luminous flame is bright yellow in color and luminous is pale blue in color luminous have four zones non luminous has three zone luminous is source of light while non luminous is a source of heat Describe how to obtain Arianto oil from maize seed. So what you do, uh, this is solvent extraction. Uh, you crush the seeds in mortar and pesto. Uh, you add propanone solution to dissolve it because oil will dissolve in propanone. And then you decant and evaporate the solution. Oil has a higher melting, uh, melting uh, boiling point and therefore it will be left there. The sulf sulfuric acid was added to a compound of zinc and the solid reacted with the acid to form a colorless solution Q and a gas R which formed a white precipitate when passed through lime water. Name compound P, that is zinc carbonate, solution Q, zinc sulfate and then gas R is carbon 4 oxide. Write down the word equation for the reaction that took place when dilute sulfuric acid was added to the compound. So that is zinc carbonate plus sulfuric acid to give zinc sulfate plus carbon dioxide plus water. State the observation that would be made if a similar compound of calcium was used in place of that of zinc. So the reaction starts and then stops after a short time because of formation of an insoluble coating of calcium sulfate that prevents further reaction. Distinguish between an acid and a base. An acid is a substance that reacts with the metal to produce salt and hydrogen gas, where a base is a substance that reacts with an acid to form salt and water as the only product. Consider the following reagents, soda, quencher, sodium chloride, and distilled water, and then wood ash solution. Complete the table using the above reagent. The one that is acidic is soda, basic wood ash solution, and neutral distilled water. Name common acid-base indicators and state they are colors in an acid and basic medium. Indicator, we have litmus, which is red in acid, blue in base, phenolphthalein, colorless in an acid, pink in a base, and methyl orange, which is pink in an acid and yellow in a base. Define the term element. It's a substance that cannot, you say it's a pure substance that cannot be split into anything simpler by chemical means. Um, name the elements present in each of the following magnesium sulfate the name ends with ate so you have oxygen included magnesium sulfide and oxygen iron three sulfide iron two sulfide iron and sulfur then we have that graph the heating curve so in point a b there is a rapid increase in temperature as the solid absorbs heat energy and gains a lot of kinetic energy the particles vibrate uh, in position BC, it's the melting, the solids melt, forces of attraction between them are broken down. 
Uh, CD temperature increases again and then the liquid reaches the boiling point. Yes, uh, explain the following that the boiling tube is usually more suitable for boiling liquids than a test tube. It's because a boiling tube is wider than a test tube and that makes it more suitable for boiling liquids. Round bottoms flask is preferred for fractional distillation. It's because it allows even distribution of heat. Uh, here we have two curves. Uh, you are told which curve shows a variation of temperature of pure solid. It's curve two because it has a sharp boiling point. And complete the table. Potassium name is Kalium. Sodium is natrium, symbol is Na, silver argentum, symbol is Ag, gold aurum, symbol is Au. The function of a defragrating spoon, it's holding substances being heated, desiccator, drying substances.